Hello cookbook friends, my name is Katie and I am going to go over the real Japanese izakaya cookbook with you today. I'm looking forward to this because my husband and I went to Japan probably, wow, it's been six years. <laughs> oh, I want to go back. And a lot of the food is just fan, it's fabulous. If you haven't gone there, you should go there. The food and the culture, everything is amazing. But I know that one of my favorite things to do has been to share a lot of the food that I've experienced with a lot of my loved ones, my friends and family. And I know there was so much stuff we tried over there that I know that I probably forgot about just because there's just so much. And I'm looking forward to getting a refresher with this cookbook because I, everything was just great. So there's 120 classic bites in this cookbook. This is by Wataru Yokota. And yeah, let's get into it. Oh, there's a sleeve. Sorry. Okay, there is. Wow, amazing photography. So I'm just, yeah, I'm so excited. This looks beautiful. All right. So there's a lot in the table of contents here. So they basically up front share all of the recipes that you will find in this cookbook. And it gives us the page numbers so that you can quickly go to it. And it's all divided in a really easy way. So chapter one is snacks and starters. And that includes things like steam fried edamame. That's a classic and a favorite. There's also a izakaya potato salad. There's king oyster mushroom sauteed in soy butter, yum. And then we also have a pickled fried eggplant, dashi steeped tomato. So a lot of those things I've never tried before. And I love that you can have a lot of these little dishes and serve all kinds of things for everybody to try out. It's just really cool. So chapter two is grilled, roasted, baked, and sauteed. And that includes chicken teriyaki with crunchy greens. There's also a baked tofu numero, a crispy fried gyoza dumpling, so another classic. There's pork steak with apple ginger sauce and fried garlic. Ooh, trying not to drool. So chapter three is deep fried. So that includes crispy noodle wrapped fried shrimp, taro and potato croquettes. Ooh, and there's also a pork and onion skewer in here that looks amazing. Chapter four is simmered, steamed, and smoked. Very cool. That includes things like steam sea bream with mushrooms and sprouts, tuna slow poached in olive oil, and then glazed pork belly with seasonal greens. Very yummy. Chapter five is the final course, rice, noodles, and bread. So that means like egg and rice kongi, eel and egg rice bowl. There's a mini kimbap Korean sushi. So it's not just Japanese uh, izakaya strictly food. So that's cool. So we have, we'll start with snacks and starters. Uh, he tells us how to use this book, what kind of ingredients you should have on hand. I think this is a really fun, I mean, this is going to provide a lot of stuff that you would see in typical East Asian cooking. But if you like to host for people and you like, I mean, especially Izakaya style and you have little gatherings with friends, this is actually really useful in how he organizes everything so you know exactly what, what to look for. So let's get into this a little bit further. We have all of these sides here listed with photos. That's awesome. And these are beautiful. Oh my. Continuously... Adore, like, amazing food photography, super pretty. And you'll see here on the, on this side here where I'm pointing, he has some step-by-step -step photos for things that might be a little confusing, and I think that's really helpful. And here we have more sides. Oof, yum. So this looks just fantastic. And you can see the tomato and egg stir fry, king oyster mushroom sauteed in soy butter. As you can see, these are all little dishes. So you're going to serve a little bit of everything. Everybody can kind of snack on, you know, whatever they want and drink beer or sake or whatever they want. So we have grilled, roasted, baked, and sauteed. So we have grilled waigu steak Japanese style. Look at that. That's elegant. So sophisticated and beautiful. And again, 
The step-by-step -step photos are super helpful, especially if you're unfamiliar with how a lot of these ingredients, you know, uh, handle. So I think that's really cool. Pork steak with ap apple ginger sauce and fried garlic. Beautiful. And here's that chicken teriyaki with crunchy greens. Yum. This looks amazing. I, I think it's kind of, it's nice that he shows all of these recipes and half of the page is the photo and then the other half is the actual ingredients and the instructions. It kind of shows that these are not terribly difficult to make and he saves space, to be perfectly honest. I think that's really cool and being able to showcase every dish and have the ingredients is amazing in a not so hefty cookbook. That's great. All right, so let's look at some, ooh, oh, sorry, okonomiyaki is amazing and that's something that I wanna go back and try to make. This looks super good. All right, so deep fried. Japanese style crunchy fried chicken cutlets. And again, the step-by-step -step photos are very helpful. I personally need to see when everybody says golden brown, I feel like that differs depending on the batter you're using and the specific type of dish you're making. So I like that he's provided exactly what that actually looks like because that looks lighter than what I would have grilled it as, which might have been overcooked. So we have crispy fried mackerel fillets. Ooh, I like the strainer idea. That's a great idea. I didn't think about that. We have beer battered smelts with nori seaweed paste. Ooh, interesting. And then we have, this I believe is your finished, let me just triple check, finished dishes maybe? No, it looks like it's fried. Pork variety meat simmered in miso, ginger, and sake. That doesn't make sense. That can't be deep fry. Oh, it isn't. Simmered, steamed, and smoked. I was almost there. Sorry about that. So then we have a beef tendon and daikon simmered in soy, ginger, and sake. I love that he has step-by-step -step photos and a photo for every single recipe, and he's able to fit all of the ingredients and the instructions all on one page. I just think that's unbelievable. I wish more cookbooks did that. I understand it's it for some people might feel a little claustrophobic, but I actually like it. And I like that this isn't a tome of a, of a cookbook. So a few more, we have soy and sake honey glazed ribs. Ooh, that looks very tasty. Beef simmered with tofu and leek. And then finally, soy and sake steamed clams with butter and then baked cod with shio, koji, shishu, shisho, and yuzu. Yum. This is a really cool cookbook. I really enjoy it. Uh, there's a, a lot of really unique dishes in here and a lot of traditional ones that I've seen in uh, when I was in Japan. So I'm looking forward to this and I'm looking forward to sharing a lot of these dishes with my friends because I think a lot of people don't realize there's so much more than like teriyaki to Japanese cooking. And I, at least for my friends, they tend to be so, uh, yes, anyway. So definitely check out the real Japanese izakaya cookbook. There's 120 recipes with step-by-step -step photos. There's a photo for almost every single recipe. I think it might actually be every recipe. It's got a really comprehensive list pantry essentials that you're going to need for most East, East Asian cooking. So I would give this a shot. This is by Wataru Yokota. So definitely look at this on Amazon. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means a whole lot to us. For additional videos and additional cookbook content, come join us on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and our podcast at Cookbook Divas. If you guys like listening to stuff and listening to Carrie and I ramble on your car rides or whatever you guys do. Um, if you guys like this channel, make sure to subscribe and to comment down below. It means a whole lot to us and it helps the algorithm out. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you next time.